Hello chess aficionados, here we are again, Air Things Masters 2022. I bring to you today uh, Magnus Carlsen versus uh, Jan Krzysztof Duda. And let's see how this game played out. So we start with e4. Oh, let's see. Well, well, let's, let's start from the beginning. A very good place to start. Let's start from the very beginning. Okay, anyway. E4. <coughs> c5 i'm just gonna uh not read it to you because you can read yourself i'm sure unless you're learning english so maybe let me know in the comments maybe you want me to comment on the knight to c3 that's an n even though in english we spell it k-n-i-g-h-t for knight we use an n because the k is taken by yes you got it the king anyway all right <clears throat> let's continue with the story here now the knight goes then the pawn Probably opening up to a fianchetto, we shall see. All right, a uh, quick disturbance in the middle here, attacking right away that lonely pawn. So he just takes, attacking the knight. So <clears throat> Carlson just takes that lonely pawn, then queen goes out. Attacking, look at this, attacking this rook. Wow. Is he going to go for it? Or maybe not? What do you think? Okay, so what happens next? Probably. <clears throat> well, let's see what happens next. Alright, so knight comes out to block this little ability here. Would have been an easy take for the rook. So there's a block by the knight. Okay, the bishop now um, developing and also supporting the queen. So now we are attacking the queen. We move out of the way. Okay, we are opening up now for this bishop, I guess. So what happened to this 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 idea? The fianchetto never really occurred. So I don't know if there's a miss in tempo here, but we shall see what the his next move is. Okay, so we're forming a pawn chain here. For now, finally we get this uh, fianchetto bishop out, kind of later than expected probably but all right the knight moves out toward the direction of the center notice how pieces move toward the direction of the center yes where the activity and the centrifugal forces you know like the engine in some cars is in that center where the engine is that's where anyway you have to read up on that so we continue <coughs> excuse me all right the bishop come count how many bishops this bishop moves look Look what happens. Okay, where is he going, this bishop? All right. It's kind of standing guard there, but what will uh, Magnus do next? He now attacks that bishop. Uh, he ignores this attack uh, because it's still protected and just castles. Oh, wow. Look at this sly move. I call this a very sly move. A very sly move. Magnus has not castled yet, and yet he's moving out with his H-pawn. Harry the H-pawn is on the move, and look at that boy, little boy move. Just look how much damage it causes on the king's side right after he decides to do this right after uh, Duda castles. You see, maybe he would have had a different plan, but now that he's castled, and he knows where the king's going to be for a while, he is moving with the H-pawn. So we are trying to attack here. What are we attacking? <clears throat> Maybe this pawn? I mean, where are we going here? You would have to think here and here. Or, uh, let's see. I mean, there's really nowhere for this knight to go, even though it looks good, but where is it going to go? And the h-pawn just keeps on the attack. So look at this. Why did he take? And then it would be taken. Well, anyway, so this this bishop is now attacking this bishop. Yes, so this is... And what will uh, Magnus do? He ignores this threat. And so you see what would have happened next? <laughs> what would have happened next? Next, if he doesn't take with this pawn, there would have been... Oh my gosh, like a suffocation. This is pretty bad for Duda. This is pretty bad for Duda. So who is in control here? Who is commanding uh, the boat here, or the ship, or the Titanic, or what do you want? The Titanic sank, so that's not a good analogy. 
So who is in the control here? It is definitely Harry the H pawn. It has if it looked this threat was ignored. The, the H pawn had a plan and wanted to penetrate into the Black King's arena. And it has done so. Look at this. Open file. It is now an open file for the H. The queen's not too far behind. He can, she can just slip over here. Doesn't mind about this, uh, these, these, these knights. We shall see what happens next. <clears throat> so now we are uh, retreating with our knight. And look at this third move by this bishop. What has it accomplished? This bishop has accomplished absolutely nada. Zip, zero. It is a very uncharacteristic, uncharacteristic play of an elite player like Duda to be doing this nowhere dance, okay? It's the dance to nowhere. It's uh, like a dead end while Magnus keeps on plugging away and just uh, finding his rhythm, okay? Where is Duda's rhythm? There is the rhythm. It's something is off, you know, like a key, piano key. There's some kind of music is off. Something is off here. He's not his usual a strategic self, so maybe he ate some kind of wrong food for breakfast. Who knows? You never know. All right, so now we are attacking this bishop. Okay. Wow. Look how a sniper view. We had a sniper view. Let's look at this again. The queen is behind this bishop, so the bishop just goes first. And now he ignores this threat. He moves out with the for with the knight so that he can move back just in case he takes. So what does Magnus do? He takes. Okay. So he takes with the king, not with the knight. All right. So now we take take goodbye to the rook. But guess what? There's another rook here in the corner, and when it's mobilized, it may do some damage. Never forget about. Having another rook. All right, we continue with the attack. So he takes. And now what? Queen is a check. Okay, let's look at this little combo here again. He takes. So the 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 knight is no more. It doesn't matter if he takes because there was a plan. You see plan was to uh, to have an opening here for the queen. So the king just sidesteps, because it's in check, by the way. Now we just eat up this pawn. Where is he going to move? There's no place for this poor king to escape. Look at this. It's all going to be th this pawn. I, j I, just, I just I have no words. What happened to Duda here? I don't know. All right, the bishop moves out of the way. Kind of not letting this queen get through easily. Uh, and, and if it did want to, where would it go? The rooks are not aligned here at all. There's lots of rooks, but they're not like very slow. Like Duda was very slow. The rhythm of the, the bishop. Three moves, guns nowhere. That's loss in tempo. You do not lose. Uh, you cannot have a loss in tempo with a play, per layer of Magnus Carlsen. Sorry, but you cannot do that. Because if you do, this is what happens. Okay, this is where uh, Duda resigned. Well, why did he resign? Well, we can do another check, correct? And that gives you tempo to move out the king and then move over. The queen and finito. It is finito time for young Krzysztof Duda. Quite sad. But uh, I'm sure Magnus Carlsen was quite happy. And this is how it's done. You better have a plan. A plan is better than no plan. And just the missing tempo, like the bishop three moves going nowhere, it's just not how it's done. It's very surprising. Um, and consistency is key, and whether rain or shine, sleet or snow, just like the mailman, he delivers the mail. And so it does Magnus Carlsen deliver once again. Rain, shine, sleet or snow, Magnus delivers. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe for more content. Au revoir.